Namaste. Welcome to this edition of the Leadership Journey with Corporate Sage. We are going to dive a little bit deeper to find what would a, a true leader enable for the leadership below him to be built in the organization. We will go through the next few episodes on some of the foundational principles of what a leader would do to turn not only himself into a great leadership material, but also make those around him to be great leaders and exhibit great leadership qualities. What is the point in just one tree or one light shining in a town? For it to become a prosperous city or a town or a place, or for an organization to become prosperous, there have to be more than one person who exhibit leadership qualities. For this to happen, there are three fundamental qualities in this specific framework that I'm going to share, which has to be done across the organization for leadership to flourish and thrive. Imagine an equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle is equal on all sides and all angles uh, being same. And there is an area inside the triangle. The bigger the triangle, better the area. Likewise, bigger the qualities that are displayed, better the area of success. Imagine the three points at uh, the three, the three points that join the triangle, the summit and the left and right bottom points. If each one depicts one quality, and if these three qualities have to come together in equal measures, then it makes an equilateral triangle. If one is stretched, if one is not properly aligned, then what is likely to happen is that the other two will be more pronounced or less pronounced as the case may be. And hence the chances of leadership flourishing becomes lesser and lesser. For this model, let us talk about TAT as one of the foundational modules on which the edifice of leadership is going to be built. TAT is an acronym which stands for trust, alignment, and transparency. When there is trust, when there is alignment, and when there is transparency, leadership at all levels is bound to thrive and survive and grow. What does trust stand for? Trust in very simple terms is when everyone who is part of the organization gets this feeling that whatever decisions are being made in this organization, my interest shall also be covered. After all, people work for an organization only when they believe that their interests are taken care of. When consciously people at all level do whatever is essential to make the people in the team feel that their interests are taken care of, either explicitly or implicitly. And to build this culture, you need to have people who perform and you need to have people who are good in building relationships, which means that to build trust, one, the leader or the people who want to display leadership will have to also be performers, people who walk the, third, walk the talk. Not only that, they have to be very good at interpersonal skills and build relationships. Take it as one aspect of the triumvirate of the equilateral triangle. The second one, is called as alignment. When people are aligned together for a common vision, for a common goal, for common values, they all come together much more easily. The organization displays a place where people are comfortable, happy. You don't have the Monday morning blues where people hate to go to the workplace. Instead, you have the Saturday evening blues 
for the Friday evening blues when people worry why they are leaving this organization and going home. Alignment creates a common thread of connection between the people who work together in an organization, which is based on trust. The third aspect is what I call as transparency. I have seen many organizations where the key aspects, either of decision making or of how structured salaries are being given or how incentives are being given, how performance appraisals happen, how recognition happens, how appreciation happens. Many of the key aspects are kept away from the people. They are shrouded in mystery where people are always kept in the dark. When I don't trust the way in which decisions are being made in the organization, how will I trust that the decisions that are being made are going to be of help to me? And obviously that comes out of lack of alignment. Transparency, not to the extent that every small detail has to be shared, but transparency on key decision-making parameters the basic financials of the organization so that I have the trust that this organization is progressing sufficiently for it to accommodate me, my growth and my ambitions and aspirations, likewise for everyone. So if you really look back at the triangle, imagine TAT as an equilateral triangle, continuously growing on all sides equally where people believe that there is trust and that every decision that is being taken takes care of my interest in this organization, whether I am expressly consulted or not. I am aligned to the goal of the organization, the vision of the organization, the values of the organization, and people, everyone who is participating in this journey are aligned with each other for a common purpose, for a common goal, and for common values. And that is transparency in the way in which the organization deals. Justice is not only given, but it seemed to be given. If the basic behavior of the organization exhibit these three values and people have the basic attitude of mutual care where they believe that the other person's interest is equally paramount as mine, they want to be aligned because it's finally all parts of the car aligning itself to move towards the same direction in which the steering wheel is pulling it. And that I am transparent that people are transparent that despite whatever is being done, whatever happens is known to everyone, the way in which it has to be known. What a wonderful organization and what a wonderful space for leadership to grow it would be. Think over it till we meet again in the next episode. Thank you.